In the markets right now, the Dow is off 11 points. The Nasdaq higher by about 15. The S&P 500 is higher by about three points. A mixed session and one, Brian, where the S&P has been hugging that 2,000 level, frankly, for most of the afternoon. Yeah, and I've often said this market needs more hugging. Joining us now on our Closing Bell Exchange, Patty Edwards from U.S. Bank, Rob Morgan from V2V Associates, Rich Peterson from S&P Capital IQ, Jeff Taylor from Digital Risk, our own Rick Santelli, and Alice, the maid in the center square. square. What matters the most here, Jeff? I mean, we talk about profits. I'd like to believe that earnings, which are theoretically supposed to be all a stock is, right, buying the future value of earnings, matter anymore. But with everything else going on, it's hard to know. You know, it, it does really matter. And again, look at the different stocks. Look at the, re the rental REIT sector right now. It's up 30% this year. And it's not that people just woke up overnight and the rental market's that hot. It's the supply chain from 2009 to 2011 that was basically dead. So now we have all these Americans, the first time home buyers who have yet to really come back into the market, are actually getting into the rental market, making a very, very strong rental REIT market. And our rental market in general is up over 25% this year. Yeah, that's a point. And, they, and they've performed that well. That well. You know, one more thing you want to look at is as we go into consumers spending money in the economy is what's going to drive earnings. And right now, we're still looking at the jobs number coming out next week. And while the numbers are coming up, one thing that still kind of baffles me is in 2006, the jobs being lost were about $60,000 annual run rate. The new jobs being created are $40,000. That's a gap of 30%. So they don't have as much affordable income, discretionary income, for the big purchases like autos, houses, et cetera. So it'll be interesting to see how it plays out the second half of this year. And Rick's not to mention, look at that saving rate today. I mean, Rick Santelli, I wonder, I wonder. But here's the point, and I made it in street signs, 2 o'clock Eastern time, right before this fine show, which is this. Why are we so concerned if the market does pull back? If everybody thinks the market's going to pull back, they will sell. It will become a self-fulfilling prophecy. Right. But even, Rob, if they do, right, and the market goes down, I don't know, 10%, 5%, 15%, if your timeline is 20 years from now, isn't that a good thing? That, that would certainly be healthy, but, but, but from a client standpoint, I think all financial advisors want to be advising their, their clients to take a little bit off the table or, get, or certainly get more defensive. And, and I'm in, you know, I heard Patty talking about the sector she likes. I'm, I'm kind of with her. I, I like cyclical sectors, industrials, financials, technology. But, Wait, but you just but said if we, defensive. If we start to, you, you know, I'll, you know, also, you take, a look, take a look at the financials. And right now, the banks have really taken a beating, especially with all the mortgage-related litigation in the last couple of years. But this might sound counterintuitive, but I think as interest rates start to rise a little bit, you're going to see them start to take a harder look about loosening that credit curve, about getting into the mortgages right now. Because right now, interest rates are so low, they're actually utilizing that capital for other strategies like buyback strategies for the stock, et cetera. So it's going to be interesting to see, but financials is what I'm following. That's for sure. And by the way, we will have a couple of retail investors coming up in our month-end roundtable. So, Rob, we will ask them what they're up to, and you can react accordingly. Thanks, everybody, this hour. Have a great long weekend. Have a great really weekend. Thank you. Thank you.